Hey guys, so today is Makeup Monday and I'm quite excited about the video today because it's actually the first part of a three part, I guess, series um, that is based around the 60s and um, my inspiration for this came from going to see Hairspray the musical last week at the theatre and um, I fell in love with this movie um, must be like four years ago I think my friend and I went to see it and loved it and when I went to the Hippodrome last week to see it it just was even more amazing and um, one of the things that really stood out to me was the hair and the makeup everything was so big and loud and I just thought I want to show you guys how to recreate it because it was so good so um, today I'm going to be doing a makeup for Makeup Monday and then later in the week there'll be a nail and a hair tutorial too so um, look out for those and um, stick around and I'll show you how to achieve it. So yourself. I've gone ahead and popped on my base as in foundation and concealers but the next thing that I'm going to use is um, this product here which is an eye primer and this is Lemonade by Benefit. Um, so the idea of using your primers is just literally to give your whole lid a neutral base to work on and also sort of some people might have redness to the skin so that covers that up and just basically means that your eyeshadow should sort of go the same colour over the whole of that area of skin. So once that's covered, the next thing I'm going to do is um, pop on a really sort of metallic silver colour and I'm using this little kit here which um, is from front cover which was I'm trying to do that without reflecting too much is um, was a Christmas present from um, I think boots I think you can get them from um, so I'm not sure if that was limited edition or not but um, it's really nice because you can get quite a good smoky eye out of it and um, but also create a few different looks using the colors on their own so the one I'm going for is a silver as our base and the brush that we're using is a just a flat eyeshadow brush there and that will give good coverage um, over the whole eye. So the first thing we're going to do is pop that on and we're just going to cover the whole lid and take it ever so slightly above the crease there um, and sort of down into the corner of the eye there. And you want to lay layer this up so that it does get a good a good shimmer to the eye. So then once you've done that, and just take it, uh, dot it into the corner there, you will then be moving on to the next colour, which is a dark sort of purple colour. Not quite plum, but quite almost virgin on the edge of black. And for that we're going to use the other end of this brush, which is quite helpful, um, but just a smaller flat brush um, for eyeshadow. That you could use an angled shading brush because you're going to be working around the crease, that would work too. Um, and you're going to get that onto the brush, fill it up quite well and we're just going to take it sort of above the crease, we're almost going to be drawing in a fake crease and it literally is a line, we're not going to blend that out too much and so sort of take it out so that it's almost as if you're going to go on a diagonal straight from your the corner of your eye there out to your eyebrow and then take it in again as if you're gonna come in sort of on an angle from the inside corner of your eyebrow. So we're just gonna create that line there and then you can see you've sort of almost drawn in an extra sort of made your eyelid bigger I guess. So you're drawing almost a fake crease there um, and then what you do next I'm using like a almost a sponge brush there, but it's quite a pointy one. Um, and you're going to go in with a black colour, or you could stick with a, a darker purple again. And we're literally just on the very outside, just going to darken up that crease that we've just drawn in. And then we're going to take it down in towards the eyelashes. And don't worry about blending this out too much at the moment because 
we'll do all of that once you've put your eyelashes and things on then you'll see where you need to blend and add more in and things but as you can see you've sort of recreated the shape of the eyelid there so you've made it a lot bigger and in the 60s that's what they tended to do um, and it was a lot more dramatic than the way I've done it today but I'm doing a slightly modern twist so um, it won't be quite as dramatic I don't think so yeah, so that's those bits there. Um, and then the next thing that I would do would just um, pop on some eyelashes. And the ones that I'm going to use are these ones here, which are from New ID Cosmetics. Um, I'm not sure on the number of them, to be honest, but they're quite big, you can see. Um, so I'm going to pop those on um, and then come back and do those. I won't show you because I faff about for so long. So hang I on a second. my lashes on. As you can see there and if you have lashes a bit like these that don't particularly blend in that great just here um, they are really dark um, the best thing to do is use a liquid liner which we would use anyway but this is the way that I then blend them in so I would get my um, this is my new ID um, eyeliner and it's a double-ended one coal at one end and um, liquid at the other and just literally draw along the upper lash line and this just basically leads it as if it is part of your natural lash line and that way you don't have to worry about them not blending in quite so well um, and then the next thing you would do is go along the lash line with your liquid liner is best for a slightly more solid line and just literally work your way along the lashes and ever so slightly flick out at the end, not a major flick on this one but in the 60s the women loved their eyeliner, that's one thing I've noticed the most out of everything um, is a thick black eyeliner everywhere so you know make your line as prominent as you feel comfortable with And then on the bottom lashes, they like to go quite thick on there, um, underneath the bottom lashes. And um, again, this depends on how you feel about that. I always feel it's a little bit too much focus um, on me then if I've got too much black around the eyes. But um, what I do is draw it in quite thick and then blend it out ever so slightly. So you're going to just take this on the underneath. Now do try not to get it on your waterline. Um, I shall show you why in a second, but we're going to take it all the way along. So you can see there, and take it into sort of the tear duct area as well. And the reason for not getting it into the waterline is that we're actually going to use a white eyeliner there and just pull down slightly just go along the waterline with your white liner and this actually gives the illusion of bigger eyes I don't think I need this so much but it is part of the look they used on their in the 60s so that is there and then with the little brush that we used earlier like the pointed sponge brush just go back with whatever um, excess that was left on there on your brush and you're just going to sort of blend from the edge of the lower lash so it's not quite such a solid line and then take it out so that it all meets each other like along here and then it sort of creates more of a solid line there for you to see and then use your mascara if you want to pop more on your lashes you can do um, depending on how big they are you might feel they're already prominent enough and then make sure you get quite a good coat on your bottom lashes um, again this is something that was really big um, I remember the pictures of Twiggy from when I was at school and studied um, bits and pieces for I think it was an art lesson and she had almost as if her eyelashes had been sectioned um, so maybe don't make it look like that but you know a big 
bit of play on the bottom lashes there so you get quite a nice coverage on that and then one final thing around the eye area will be our eyebrows and um, one thing again on all the pictures you know from the models from the 60s they had quite arched and quite long eyebrows now the majority of us probably don't have as long eyebrows as they had then and I doubt they did I think it was makeup so what you need to do is use a flat brush there and the kit that I'm using is my benefit eye kit there and we're just going to almost create a straight line along the bottom of the eyebrows and we're going to fill in the rest and then we're going to take this down quite a bit further than where your natural eyebrow ends and this again gives the illusion of a real arched eyebrow there and then the other thing that you can do if you want to sort of set them in place is to use either a clear mascara or uh, an eyebrow gel and that will just basically give them a bit more shape and definition so that there is sort of your final okay look. so now that we all know how to recreate the 60s makeup look um i hope that you guys give it a go and that you've enjoyed the video um i haven't gone into too much detail about the products that i've used today i didn't want to make the video even longer um so i shall put them on my blog um and um i shall put the link below in the little information box there so take a look at that and subscribe if you um, like it and um, I think that's it so like I said look out for the rest of the videos coming up this week and um, by the end of the week you'll look like a 60s Barbarella so um, I shall see you soon bye